It was written in the stars that the 2023 season would not be an easy one for WRT's GT squad. Replacing the Audi R8 with a BMW M4 GT3 is a bit like changing from a PC to an Apple. It's similar, but completely different. Bon, là, il faut mettre le crew normal avec l'encombrement, le mec au fuel, le mec au tuyau, c'est celui du tuyau qui lève. After so many years with with our friend from Ingolstadt, uh, it was a, a huge challenge, but we can say that uh, we succeed in our challenge. But WRT is that kind of team that loves a challenge. Ouais, voilà, nickel. We use seven different new chassis of BMW M4 uh, GT3. We can say, yeah, it was a tough. A uh, tough job, uh, but uh, we had quite a success because we won our first uh, our first race. And the 2023 season was off to a flying start in the very first race with the M4. The 24 hours of Dubai were won by Vantor, Klingsman, Simonauer, Menjaka, and Saud Fahad, while Valentino Rossi, together with Sean Galile, Tim Whale, Maxime Martin, and Max Hess, finished on the podium as well. But Dubai is nothing like the GT World Challenge. Facing a formidable GT3 competition, things got serious in Monza. In the Temple of Speed, the BMWs are among the front runners, with the top four grid positions after qualifying. The WRT cars are second and third. The Sheldon van der Linde getting out. What a great opening stint for him. During the race, WRT remains at the sharp end. Van Tor, Wirtz and van der Linde are racing for the win until a slow puncture ruins their chances. Please looks like you've got a front left puncture. Fun Nevertheless, it's an encouraging start to the GT World Challenge season, especially since the number 30 car of Simonauer, Williams and Cruton finishes third in the gold category. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of adapting to do, especially with the new car, new championship, new style of racing. Uh, moving into GT3 for the first time, but I'm really happy that I was able to do that with WRT. A couple of weeks later, the first sprint meeting is held on the Brands Hatch circuit. Ciao! Valentino! One just with you, right? Oh. <laughs> the WRT M4s are again among the contenders. Better still, the team's newcomers, Niklas Kruten and Callan Williams, won the second race in the Gold Cup. Valentino Rossi will go second, Charles Wirtz will go third. While Maxime Martin and Valentino Rossi finished second overall. A promising start to the sprint season. Yeah! He's second with Maxime Martin yes! and Valentino Rossi is a delighted man, understandably. So also is Maxime Martin. The team often comes close to winning, but the top step of the podium seems to elude them. That changes in June. Not during a GT World Challenge meeting, but during a one-off race, the road to Le Mans. Held on the long Le Mans circuit during the build-up to the famous 24 hours. WRT scores a full house. Race one goes to Tim Whale and Max Hess, and that makes the British driver very happy. WRT exudes absolute professionalism from start to finish. It's been a, a, a privilege and a joy to be able to drive with the team, with BMW. It is the most special piece of tarmac in the world and a total privilege to be driving around on it today. The second race is a masterful play by team boss Vincent Voss. He puts Jerome Pollican, believe it or not, the team boss of WRT's big rival, Acodis Mercedes, in the same car as Valentino Rossi. The pair set a fantastic performance, win on the Le Mans circuit, and for the first time in his new career with WRT, Valentino Rossi gets to the top step of the podium. Hopefully a result that bodes well for Le Mans 2024. But the most memorable GT weekend of the 2023 season was undoubtedly the Misano weekend. In Italy, everything runs smoothly. From free practice to qualifying, the M4s are at the front, and the WRT camp has set its eyes on a win. But they will have to wait until the second race of the weekend for what everyone was impatiently waiting for to materialize, the coronation of King Valentino. Race 
to at Masano in the sunshine in high temperatures is go. Wait, please confirm. Box, 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 box. Copy, box, copy, box. Maxi Martin to give way to Valentino Rossi. Valentino Rossi, the fastest lap of the race. Wait, this is P1 for us. You are much quicker than the Audi behind, and you are doing a very good job. And Valentino Rossi leads at Masano by four and a half seconds. The fans will be here all evening. Wait, so the next lap is the final lap. We are going for the final lap now. Final lap, final lap. Final lap, final lap. Maxime Martin started it, Valentino Rossi brings it home for a first ever win and a great reception, Valentino Rossi, Maxime Martin, win at Masano. The amazing fucking race, fuck yeah. Wow. Great job guys, great job, thanks to everybody. <laughs> Facing the toughest competition in the world in GT3, Rossi and Martin ran the perfect race and won their first victory together at this level of racing. My best memory of this year is Misano because uh, we won and the P1 is always P1. And uh, it was special because it was in Misano in front of uh, all my friends, all my family, and it uh, was a great emotion. First of all, a lot of happiness because um, I don't think we were expecting to win um, any race this year. To win with Valentino is uh, very, very special, but to win in Misano with all the Italian fans in his garden, he knows everyone, he's living five kilometers from there, is, uh, makes it, yeah. Just amazing. The discovery of the new car, the procedures developed in collaboration with BMW, leaving the Audi comfort zone, the newness of it all. All this means that the harvest of trophies has not been as abundant as the one of the previous seasons. But throughout the year, the team made constant progress. It was a bit, I wouldn't say strange, but um, you know, being used to the year before, almost winning all the rounds, uh, and now um, struggling to, to to get onto the podium. Um, but you know, it's a learning curve. It's it's part of racing, and we have to learn from it. We have to improve. Uh, we have a lot of areas where we can improve, team-wise, car-wise. Me, my myself. It's always more fun if you win. But I always think that the the moments where you don't win. Uh, you learn the most. Dries and Sharp, at the sharp end since the start of the season, finally managed to win a race in Valencia. The reigning champions can once again take the spoils in Spain. And then there was also the Spa 24 Hours, the team's home event, which is immensely important for WRT, especially for the Belgian team members. After a hectic qualifying session with plenty of rain and red flag interruptions, the BMWs qualify outside the top 20. But the WRT team members never give up. Even though the conditions were pretty treacherous, the team remained faultless during the early hours of the race, and when the sun set on Saturday evening, all four cars were still in contention. Better still, during the night, Sheldon van der Linde, Dries van Tor, and Charles Wiertz even take the lead. I think it started quite well. Cars are running fine. Uh, pace is good. Well, there is a full course yellow now, so I have to I have to leave you. Sorry. Three, two, one. Full course yellow now, Valet. Full course yellow now. Okay, buddy. Green, 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 green. Push, push. Okay, guys, prepare technical stop. Prepare technical stop for 46. First, you go for the full course yellow, and then it was the F4, 3, 2, 1. And then, three seconds after, green. It's a big disappointment because I felt like we had every car in our hands to be able to, to, to make a, a good result. 
yeah, unfortunately, some things, some things in life do not come your way, and you simply cannot do anything about that. But to learn, to uh, to put them aside, and to come back stronger, and that's what uh, I personally will do next year. Three of the four cars cross the finish line, however. Not a mean feat in Spa. The number 30 car of Cruton, Simonau and Williams even claim a Gold Cup podium finish, much to the joy of Callan, a rookie in the Spa 24 hours. Even finishing that race is, is an achievement. 24 hours, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty tough, especially with so many cars and, and when it gets dark, the fatigue at the end of the race, everything starts to take its toll. Um, so yeah, even just, just finishing was nice, but to finish in, in such a strong position as well, I'd, I'd say was, was amazing. However, the young collaboration between Munich and Badur remains impressive. WRT and BMW won on various continents, in the USA at Indianapolis, or during the Intercontinental GT race on the South African circuit of Kyalami, with a resounding double of the M4 GT3 cars. And finally, there also was the Gold Cup title in the GT World Challenge, won by Niklas Kruten and Callan Williams, after a superb final race in Zandvoort, where they claimed an overall podium finish. Hey, Come on, mate. P3 overall, yes! and we are gold speed driver champion and gold overall driver champion. Yeah! <laughs> what a team! Come on! Yes! Team WRT, Niklas Kruten and Kellen Williams. At the end of this first season together with BMW, everything is now in place for 2024. The M4 GT3 will compete on all fronts in GT World Challenge Europe, in the Intercontinental GT Challenge, and of course in the World Endurance Championship, a gargantuan challenge which the team is ready to take on, undoubtedly resulting in a great harvest of victories and titles.